I think culturally, wrestling and alternative music, they, they do just go hand in hand. You know, it's uh, it's funny. As, as a kid growing up, my music taste was kind of defined by pro wrestling. You know, when I was a kid, my favorite bands were guys like Puddle of Mud, and Limp Bizkit, and even Kid Rock. And, and that's kind of funny for a British kid to be so into their American rock music, you know? Um, but I was super into all that new metal and stuff like that because of pro wrestling, really. And it's even cooler now with NXT uh, bringing this like really modern you know genre of music in bands like Code Orange, bands like Bring the Horizon, people like Poppy, and it's so cool. I, I think that wrestling plays a huge part in dictating people's music taste. To be honest, um, and I think as well, it's something that alternative kids just tends to love. I think it fits in perfectly together. And I think that, yeah, most people who are into wrestling are going to be into their rock music. And hopefully it's the other way around too. If, if, rock, if, if you know, pop punk kids and rock kids don't like wrestling yet, I bet they will if they check it out. <laughs> uh, I saw Nita Strauss's solo this morning from TakeOver last night and she slays every single time. She's so good. It's awesome. I, and I love the fact that you know, on main roster, you'll have the beautifully sung American National Anthem. But on NXT, you shred a solo from Alice Cooper's guitarist, you know? It's awesome. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just incredible. I, I love the, the huge theatrical entrances that you have at Mania every year. And it's even better when it's a rock performance. So I'm really psyched for Rhea Ripley's entrance uh, on, was it Saturday or Sunday? It's gonna be, it's gonna be incredible. Um, again, for me, it reminds me of when, when Fred Durst was playing Undertakers of the Ring when I was a kid. You know, it just, it just makes it so much bigger, doesn't it? And, and I also think from a music perspective, how cool would it be to play WrestleMania? You know, I remember when Saliva played Mania back in the day, and I thought that's the coolest gig ever. You know, you're playing whilst like, Taker's riding down to the ring, or <laughs> or Triple H is doing his the, the spit. You know, when Motorhead was playing, and it's just it's the coolest collab. Um, you know, I, it's something that I hope at some point down the line I get to do with my band. I hope we get to play an NXT UK takeover. And that would be a dream come true. I think it, it's it, it depends from person to person, from character character to character. Um, for me. I need a feel good, upbeat song. You know, I need it to be like pop punk or, or a real, a real bop because it's got to be a banger if I say so myself. <laughs> so like, I, you know, for me, as soon as I hear Fall to Pieces come on and I hear that drum beat at the start and hear the sample, I feel at home to be honest, because I know that it's, you know, it's a song that we wrote together, me and, my, me and my two of my best mates. And I think it makes me feel at home, the nerves go away, the excitement, you know, flies up. And I just think, here we go. I'm ready and I start miming the music down to the ring. Uh, for somebody else, you know, someone who's a different type of character, they might want something intense and moody and, and, and you know, scary and dark. But for me, I want to feel the energy. I want to go out in, in front of a crowd and I want it to be like a pop punk show. I want everybody to be jumping up and down like they're at a Neck Deep concert, you know, like, like they're watching the Wonder Years or something like that. Uh, and that's what I, I try and get from, from my entrance music. I think I've got to go with with Fred Durst playing Take It to the Ring. Uh, but I will say what tops that is more recently Code Orange playing Alistair Black to the ring. Because honestly, I remember when that happened and I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is amazing. Like it was so, you know, because Alistair has that cool entrance where he like stands up and the smoke and they're screaming behind him. And I just, I mean, I already think Code Orange are like the coolest band going. So the fact that they were playing with one of the coolest looking wrestlers, Alistair Black, just kind of levitating up next to him and walking like a badass to the ring. I just thought it incredible. So I mean, that's my favorite of all time. Well, yeah, firstly, I'm gonna throw out the Love the Hall and Absence because they, I think their music fits perfectly. Whenever I have to make any sort of music video uh, for my wrestling, I message them and I'm like, hey guys, mind if I use one of your songs? Can I use Birdcage? Because they, they just write the best wrestling music. I think they write an incredible Dago of theme. So yeah, shout out to Holden Absence. I'd absolutely love to see them writing a theme. Um, on top of that, I'm trying to think. I mean, I, I think I'd love, I'd like, like to see something a little bit of like a, a curveball, like a Don Broco track. You know, a Don Broco track would be amazing, right? For NXT UK, because it's very British as well. It's a bit quirky. So that would fit in super well for NXT UK. Um, so those two are up there for me, yeah. Yabo and, and Don Broco.